this output voltage this v out this equal to zero this will be the kirchhoff's voltage law so this we can represent this v is equal to v is equal to this diode voltage vd plus your v out so this diode voltage vd plus what is this b out p out is nothing but the current i is flowing through this so we can have this as the i into rl so here let's say this current and voltage are just two variable if you take this two as the two variable then we can say that this relationship can be represented as this i is equal to this uh, what will be the relationship this will be b y r l minus v d y r l so you just see this equation here let's say this i and you know, if you want to study the characteristics or behavior of this circuit when we connect the diode with the resistor then how this behavior will change so here we see as you see that this voltage and current these two parameters are the variable so what is this load resistor this resistance should be a fixed quantity voltage across the diode is also a fixed quantity it may be silicon diode so it will be 0.7 volt or whatever the voltage okay so this quantity will be a fixed quantity so this is just in the form of y is equal to some uh, like uh, it is i is equal to uh, 1 by rl this is a fixed quantity into v so minus or we can say this is plus y is equal to x plus c so this will be minus v d y rl so is it a equation of the straight line if you say this is a constant quantity this is a constant quantity so this y is equal to mx plus c in this form we are getting a relationship or linear relationship we are getting okay for slope of this will be your 1 by rl so this represents a linear line so this is called as your the equation for your load line suppose for this equation for this equation if you plot the graph so you know, how can you plot the graph if you graphically uh, graphically represent this then how we will have this so suppose this is the so suppose this is the voltage axis this is your current axis or x axis or y axis so for representing this straight line we at uh, minimum we require two points so how to get this two points how to get this two point if you put one as the uh, zero that means uh, one coordinate b is equal to zero if you put b is equal to zero in this equation then what will be the value of your i i will be how much minus v d by r l Minus, minus v d by r l. Minus, minus v d. Yeah, if you put minus v d by r l. Minus v d. Yes, minus v d by r l. If you put v is equal to zero minus v d by r l, we are getting. Or uh, if you take this i is equal to zero. So v is equals to v d. V equals to v d. That voltage. Okay. so uh, two fixed point we are getting okay two fixed point we are getting so when we two when we get to the, uh, this two fixed point so how we represent this at v is equal to 0 v is equal to 0 means this current axis okay this current axis so this current axis if you take the magnitude value this bd by rl somewhere the point will be here this bd by rl point okay bd by rl point So this V D by R. Ma'am, it's minus V D by R. Yeah, minus V D by R. Yes, ma'am, minus. Just, just I have taken this as the magnitude value. Okay. So this will represent this uh, direction of your current. So magnitude value just I have taken this V D by R. If negative sign is there, then the current will flow in opposite direction. Only I have kept this uh, magnitude value. Okay. So if I take I is equal to zero, that means this voltage axis. So for V is equal to V D, somewhere the point will be here. V is equal to let's say V D. So if we combine these two point, if we combine these two point with a straight line, this this will represent the equation of this. Uh, in this equation one, the straight line uh, straight line is the gra graphical representation of this. So this 
is called as your load line this equation this line is called as your load line what is this load line that means whatever the value of your uh, voltage and voltage will vary but the change in your current and voltage will be or the operating point will move in this line what is this operating point means at this con what a particular condition uh, at suppose we take point here so this point represents some value of your v some value of your i so this is called the operating point that means at this voltage the current is this much at this voltage the current is this much so this relationship is a linear relationship so this repre this is represented by a load line so usually we have the dc uh, we have the diode characteristics only the behavior of the diode we know so according to the diode characteristics we have the graph like this this is the vi characteristics of your uh, diode yes ma'am this vi characteristics so if you plot the load line and vi characteristics the cross section point is called as the q point q point or it is called as the quiescent point Quiescent point, or it is also called as your operating point. Operating point. That means the at this point the diode is operating in your circuit. So according to the position of the Q point, also the signal behavior will change. That we will discuss when we discuss about the transistor. There, how if the Q point is moving, then how the uh, operation of the circuit will change. so this position of this q point is also important factor when we go to the higher uh, that is about the transistor transistor is nothing but your combination of two pn junction so this operating point is also a very uh, important point in uh, electronic circuit analysis so this <coughs> this is called as your dc load line here we have applied a dc voltage and we have taken the current whatever it is flowing so this is the dc voltage and dc current we are taking so this load line is called as your dc load line this is your dc load line and here we have also considered the static characteristics of this graph also this graph is just the static characteristics of dc load line we have considered when we take the dc characteristics of the static characteristics so when we apply a ac voltage so this is about the dc load line okay this is about the dc load line if you apply a ac voltage so there we will have the ac load line so instead of taking the v volt if you apply the uh, circuit voltage or input voltage or alternating current okay alternating voltage if you apply it then this diode this is the load resistance rl okay so this input voltage this is a uh, suppose this input voltage is ac so ac means there must be some range of your uh, voltage like this will vary from this to this so there are one will be your minimum another will be your maximum value so this v in value usually v in is written means v in is usually represent the positive peak ko represent karta hai so this v in voltage is ac form in ac form in this case we apply the same concept so here we will get the load line so let us plot the load line for this so when we apply the current this concept this ac concept to your voltage versus your current graph okay so in this case what will we get in this case just like your previous equation here only the voltage is not a fixed quantity it will vary from some v in to some v in dash let's say suppose the ac voltage which is varying from v in to v in dash so one is your v in another is your v in dash and two range of voltage we are getting here so obviously when the voltage is v in we will have this uh, uh, just like your v is equal to vd is equal to v we are taking here it will be v is equal to v in we have to consider likewise here we will get the minimum the current point when we take this v x is zero in this case it will be your v in by rl similarly when we have the voltage that is other peak that is v in dash 
in that case it is v in dash will be your voltage for this corresponding we will have the current that is v in dash by rl so when we uh, just join these two points this is the this will be coming in sorry just parallel line we are getting so these two lines will be parallel to each other just consider this as the parallel line suppose this is your v in dash this is your v in. so two load line we are getting so these are the ac load line for different values we are getting different load line but they are parallel to each other so if they are parallel to each other what it indicates what it indicates and if you join the characteristics that is the dc characteristics or static characteristics of suppose this is the dc characteristics suppose this is the static characteristics or dc characteristics of the diode so it is cross section the cross section we are getting two operating point let's say this point is a another point is your a dash okay so, yeah, so for getting the dynamic characteristics what we can do so this let us join this values like uh, i'm, I'm sorry ma'am but uh, can you please explain again uh, how there are two lines okay okay i'm good so just explaining okay so when we considered about the ac voltage okay ac voltage means it's a alternating voltage so it is having two values suppose this is your v in and suppose this is your v in dash okay so this two two for the two value one for this peak we are having actually this is the maximum voltage whatever it is applied vm so this value is your v is equal to v in in this case we are getting this v is equal to vd the diode voltage is maximum applied voltage b now okay and for this case here the diode voltage is applied voltage b in so for this particular voltage when we uh, when we consider this voltage like equation we are getting that is your equation is your uh, here v in minus this diode voltage vd minus your um, output voltage b not or we can say this is the uh, i into this rl is equal to 0 <clears throat> in this equation if you apply this voltage v is equal to Uh, applied voltage is your v in here applied voltage is your v in so in this case this v when we consider i is equal to 0 for this axis for getting this point so this this axis we are getting i is equal to 0 means v in is equal to vd for i is equal to 0 v in vd is equal to v in if we put in place of v in this is the v in dash other voltage so in that case vd will be equal to your for i is equal to 0 vd will be equal to v in dash so two different points we are getting here okay two different points we are getting yes, so for two different point here if you take for this condition if you take this v is equal to 0 in this case your i will be equal to vd by uh, uh, what is this i vd by rl or uh, sir v in by rl v in by rl applied voltage vd is equal to v in so here the voltage will be v in by rl in this case it will be v in dash by rl so just two points we have we are getting instead of getting a fixed point the variable point we are getting so for variable point we will have different load line if you take because the alternating voltage suppose at this particular voltage you are calculating the uh, load line so at this point this voltage may have a different value so any other load line can also be obtained so in case of your ac condition or when we apply the ac voltage in that case we are not getting a fixed load line the load line is also varied but the properties of the load line will be they are parallel to each other they are parallel to each other the parallel to each other means what information it is giving in parallel condition if they are parallel what it is information is learning also So what information uh, is processing today we are going beyond the two dimension and I'm going so deeper to see uh,
कि रेजिस्टेंस आर सेम रेजिस्टेंस वन बाय आर एल इज सेम दैट इज द स्लोप ऑफ द स्लोप ऑफ द ग्राफ इज सेम Mm, you are muted. Mm, you are not audible. Yes, yes. Sorry. So, uh, for that case, uh, this RL is constant. So, if RL is constant, the slope is constant. Okay. So, so slope is constant. So, if your slope is constant, we will get obviously the parallel line. And if your slope is constant for static load line, if you join this load, on this Q point and this voltage point, and this point, the current is the same. No, I have not muted. No, I'm on. Uh, I wanted to ask, like you have said, that V in and V in dash are the two piece procedures. So either V in dash should be the uh, in the opposite piece of the magnitude, it should be like on V. Ah, uh, 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 one please, sir. Repeat to a search by way. I am saying V in and V in dash are the two piece procedures. So either V in dash should be in the opposite at uh, like opposite direction, so or V in dash should yeah. be on the point V. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, when we take the voltage for the theoretical concept, whatever we take, uh, actually in theoretically we just represent uh, this AC voltage as the uh, positive or negative that kind of things you are saying. That's right. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, that is the thing. But actually, when we take the sometimes suppose we take the values like this. This can this can also be a volt. This is also can be a uh, AC voltage, alternating voltage. So it will have two values. So to show this, only we have given two different values. Okay. It can be. Yes, is any general uh, uh, point on that uh, science it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We in dash can any point here. So this load line can number more than two also. Just to show that this uh, this is variable voltage is there, we can have different load line, but they will have the fixed slope. Okay, fixed slope means they will have the fixed resistance. The slope will be constant. And if you join these uh, points, like uh, from this origin to this V uh, B dash point, this will actually this is also this is also this kind of graph we will get. This is called the dynamic characteristics. This is. Good. Ma'am, what is the signature for the receiver? Yes, yes. Ma'am, your voice has been cut off by some background noise, I guess. Okay, okay, just. Uh, giving them, just giving them dignity, you are. Just hold on one minute.
mic correct this is is it audible properly now yes ma'am yes ma'am okay. yes ma'am so in dynamic characteristics we can have from the ac load from the ac load line if you get the operating point here also the operating points will be varying from point to point as the voltage is changing the load line is changing so the operating point is also not a fixed point here it is changed according to the uh, change in your voltage so from this operating point and with respect to this voltage if you join the point and connect this line this is also a exponential line with a different slope we are getting this is the dynamic characteristics of this uh, diode so how the, when the ac voltage is applied the how the behavior of the diode is changed that is represented by the dynamic characteristics so this dynamic characteristics has also very important role because um, usually we have this uh, uh application of diode whatever whenever we are using in the input instead of dc signal you usually use the ac signal so generally we use ac signal like if it is a rectifier circuit so obviously we are giving ac signal for converting it into the dc form so in the input we are applying the ac signal if the diode is used for the um, purpose of a wave shaping circuit like suppose some person of your uh, some uh, different web shaping applications are there like clipper or clamper circuit suppose you want to change suppose this is the wave form and we want to change the wave wave form to this kind of wave form okay so for some application suppose you want to clip off some person of the wave form or some time you want to change the diode uh, this signal to a different dc level okay so in this case we can all cases we are using the ac yeah yes yes so ac ac signal so this ac load line and ac characteristics or dynamic characteristics it has more important importance in this vi characteristics uh, or this load line analysis so we should have this uh, load line analysis Uh, in a proper way and one more characteristics it is not a uh, lot mentioned in your syllabus but it is there in uh, higher semester that is called the transfer characteristics also transfer transfer characteristics transfer characteristics actually it is the characteristics of your input voltage by your output voltage input voltage versus your output voltage the curve which relates the input voltage and output voltage is described by the transfer characteristics so it is not uh, required for you people for the higher semester of ec student it is required for transfer characteristics so from the transfer characteristics from graphical analysis can we can also have if you have the input voltage we can get the Uh, input waveform then output waveform can also be uh, considered so if possible then when we use the rectifier circuit obviously in that case we are concerned about the input voltage signal as well as output voltage signal so this input and output will be related through this transfer characteristics so uh, analytical method we can apply for finding the output voltage also we can use the graphical method or the transfer characteristics method for finding the output waveform from the input waveform whatever the input signal we are applying for the output we get that we can uh, analyze from the transfer characteristics so you, we will use this transfer characteristics for uh, for in the analysis of your rectifier we can study this transfer characteristics okay so this is about the uh, ac load line and dc load line of this uh, diode then one more Uh, one more thing is there that is your about the capacitance i think i have given that uh, slide in the slide it is there the capacitance part is included in that slide so you can follow that okay so in case of your diode uh, 
फर्टो कैपेसिटेंस फर्टो कैपेसिटेंस कम एक सो एक्चुअली कैपेसिटर व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ कैपेसिटर इज नोन टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो दिस कैपेसिटर इज विल स्टोर द इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ योर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ओके सो दैट इज द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ योर कैपेसिटर सो दिस इन केस ऑफ योर योर डायोड हाउ दिस कैपेसिटर कैपेसिटर इज नॉट फिजिकली प्रेजेंट देयर बट द कैपेसिटिव इफेक्ट इज देयर so how this effect can be studied like uh, when we applied uh, actually you just go through this concept actually one meeting is already started so we will have this uh, capacitor discussion you just go through the slide okay we will discuss it in our next class so uh, actually i have to leave this because one urgent meeting is going on so i have to join so this transition capacitance diffusion capacitance and uh, road line already we have discussed so after completing this we will switch over towards the rectifier so in the next class i think thursday morning we will discuss this capacitance part little bit after that we will switch over towards the um, application part so uh, let me end this meeting ma'am please share the sure, ma'am sure, please sure. share the slides which you had uh, drawn yeah this slide already i have shared so the uh, word no, file no ma'am the one which you have drawn today yeah 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 uh, word file i will uh, submitting just one minute i take that and then ha ha i can next le lenge download the attendance actually i am having certain problem it is uh, hanged is it possible from your side to download the attendance no ma'am no ma'am no maybe if you can make one presenter yeah, yeah, yeah. actually this system is not responding now Articles into different categories. So if the articles are talking about genetic information, then 